Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Shashir Malhotra. I am the CEO and co-founder of Coda. And I'm very excited to be here at Snowflake today, along with Christian Kleinerman, the head of product for Snowflake, uh, to talk about a new partnership that we just announced with Snowflake. We're going to be working together to unite data and a collaborative surface and turning data into action. As part of this partnership, Snowflake is also making a large investment in Coda, and we'll be working together to bring a number of products to market. And I'm just really excited to be here. And maybe just to start off, maybe you can uh, introduce yourself as well and tell tell everyone a little bit about how you're looking at the partnership. Okay. It's first of all, super excited to have you here. Super excited about the partnership with Coda. Uh, on a personal level, this is the th third time you and I work together. Mm -hmm. uh, we were both together at Microsoft building database and data management technology. We were both together at YouTube. And now different companies, but uh, unified on Do a single goal. Yeah. <laughs> no, very, very compelling goal. Um, very excited about the, 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 the high level insight, which is a lot of companies have a data team, a data platform, the data analyst, the data scientist, and then there's all the rest of the company that lives in a different set of tools and may or not, may not be as data driven. Yes. And, and we see like this split on how can you go make the data available to empower and improve decisions and improve insights for the rest of the company. And I think that's the genesis of our partnership. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about what the partnership is. We're going to do many different things together. The one that I'm really excited about is something we're doing in AI, but I think we're going to talk about that later. But the first thing that's available to everyone today is connecting Snowflake data into Coda. And maybe just as a backgrounder for uh, for others, uh, you know, Coda, as most people know, is an all-in-one platform. Allows people to connect documents, spreadsheets, presentations, applications into one unified surface. It's all one surface. It's one single surface, and one of the ways people use it is to connect data into that surface. The genesis of this idea came when we built a pack, is what we call our integrations. So you could connect Snowflake data directly into uh, Coda, and we saw amazing things being done with that, and decided we would partner together to make that experience much, much better. Okay, so that's sort of like a technology description. <laughs> Uh, get data from Snowflake into Coda, but what, what type of use cases? How can it be helpful for me? So the first one was internal at Coda. We were working on a new product launch we call Coda 4.0. We shipped it last year, and big, huge launch, many features, many teams, marketing, product, press, everything all together, and uh, we built a doc, as you might imagine, that was the Coda 4.0 hub. And it had everything. It had you know every features, product requirements. It had all the press releases, all the marketing, the beta user, so on. And somewhere along that line, the one of the product managers connected the Snowflake pack into this doc. You know, a number of things happened. First off, we had all of a sudden in our home where we were reviewing everything that was happening, we now have all of the data. So everything's flowing right through. We have the stats. We have the analytics. And it all became very actionable. So we would, for example, for every feature, there's a list of customers trialing it. You'd have the list of, the, we'd have those uh, list of customers coming right out of Snowflake. All of their feedback was then linked right to it. And you could sort of take everything and immediately take action on that data in the same place where you're already working. And, and the data is like live, like the document is always up to date. Document is always up to date. You show up for your staff meeting, and it's you know here's what's happened yesterday. No need to copy and paste. No screenshots. None of that. None of that stuff. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. That was my first one. Maybe. What about you? What was your well, first? Well, so, so yeah. I think you and I had mm -hmm. a conversation on is there something here that other companies can can benefit? And we said, okay, always start with could Snowflake itself leverage it? Mm -hmm. um, I, I think you share the vision with our IT team, and they said, okay, we have the perfect use case. And, and it's a very interesting tool or a very interesting uh, uh, scenario mm -hmm. where we ingest data from a number of sources. Uh, how are the logs coming in from Okta authentication or how are docu sign is operations? For, for, for tools. It, it's, yeah. it's for tools that we ingested. Yeah. And one of the use cases that we have been using some of those data sets is to go and do license management. Of all the mm. different SaaS uh, tools that we buy, how do you know that if you bought 100 licenses, you're using 100 licenses? Uh, the, the, the topic of shelfware exists in the subscription as a, as a service type of business model where you pay and you don't know if you're using. Now with all these logs and all this information that we can get, you can get visibility on is this real? Is it being consumed? And our IT team, has decided, okay, we have the data, let's go put it as part of the procurement process and decide, let's right-size our purchases. We will buy what we are using, what we're consuming. Hmm. 
And interestingly enough, after they heard about the opportunity of having a code, a document, mm. they said, hey, this is the perfect uh, use case. And I think you, you witnessed it, uh, the, the story being mm. told by, by our IT team. In one hour, mm. they were able to say, here's an experience, a front end to that data that can be used now as part of our workflow, as part of procurement. And uh, it yeah. was an amazing success story, and the mm. time to value was uh, yeah. amazing. Yeah, in an hour, it is amazing because I think that process is a perfect example of marrying data. All, I mean, it's amazing. The, the, the set of data you guys put into that tool is incredible. No surprise, Snowflake takes data seriously. But then all the workflow around it is just really amazing to, because obviously it's a very human process to decide which tools you're going to keep, which tools you're going to retire, so on. So it's a great example. Maybe I'll give one more. Sure. Um, so one more example from, came from one of our customers where they used Coda and the Snowflake pack for uh, a sales use case. And in this case, um, they uh, were using Coda for their account plan, so they create a, new, a unique document per customer. And, uh, you know, their account plans look as you would expect. It's, you know, lots of, um, you know, write-ups of here's the plan for the account, here's the organization chart, here's the notes from every meeting, here's all the past contracts and all the negotiation. And they took the Snowflake pack, and in this particular case, they ingested user-level data for what was happening with that account. And one of the most fun examples I saw was they were ingesting all of the, you know, right next to the account plan and what's who's who, what were the meeting notes and so on, was here's everybody who signed up yesterday. And they added a column to it and they said, with some criteria, made a button that says, invite this person to a webinar. And you could, they go through. In the document. In the document and it, you know, they put a little button and it was, it was really clear. This is uh, the next step they wanted to do. And from the perspective of the sales leader, they could, um, take this process and sort of push their account teams to all connect new users to webinars. Uh, from the perspective of the team, it was, it was easy to do because it was in context of where they're working, no separate tool to go to. And it's just a great example, I think, of unifying data and action. Yeah, so, so it's the collaboration, data power, but it's also in, in a single tool, single surface, which is where the entire workflow can happen all yes, at the same time. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Super cool. Uh -huh. Now, okay, you, you you mentioned AI, and I think er in everyone's uh, mind, and I think in every conversation, there's some. Okay, so wh wh where does AI fit in? And I think the vast majority of organizations have realized there is an opportunity to give data broader access yeah. through the power of AI, through the power of natural language, conversational interfaces, chat interfaces. That promise is there. The reality is that it's not as easy because yeah. you want the answers to be trustworthy and no hallucinations, no lies, etc. Um, we we've approached what we're doing at, at Snowflake on, on like three different in, uh, categories. One is maximum extensibility, maximum flexibility. You can host in a container inside Snowflake anything you want. You can host a language model, a visual model, and effectively you have full power, but you have to do a lot more work and, and it, it, it takes more time. We have a, a, a middle uh, level of, of integration, which is uh, what we call Cortex. We're hosting a variety of language models on behalf of our customers. Some of them are our models. Some of them are partnerships with Mistral or with Reka. We actually Reka, announced yeah. it uh, very recently. Uh, and also open models like a, a Llama 2 is also part of it. And this is a simpler interface, either a SQL interface or a Python interface, where you can just go build solutions. You can go create embeddings. You can have a vector data type. So it's less flexible than the, the first option, but the time to value, time to solution is, is, is lower. And the last one is finished experiences that we have. For example, if you were to have uh, unstructured documents, PDFs, and you want to start asking questions of that, we have something called Document AI, and you can just point to Snowflake to the document and ask questions, similar to a co-pilot, similar to SQL generation. So we have a, the, the full spectrum, but the most important thing of how we think about it at Snowflake is there is no true AI unlock or AI strategy if you don't have a solid data foundation, which is why this is a natural expansion and extension of the value that we bring to organizations. Yeah. I hope that's good enough, so now you can tell me about AI. Okay, so I, I, I can say a little bit about it, but I think we're working hard on it. I know we have a big announcement coming up, so I'm only going to give a tease. And so the, the way that I think what our viewers and listeners should know is how our perspective on bringing together Coda and the amazing Snowflake data platform and the AI vision from Snowflake, uh, the way I think about it is 2023 was the year of consumer AI. Everybody fell in love with ChatGPT. We could ask this question to the world's know-it-all. The 
next year, 2024, I think is going to be about enterprise AI. So now the question is, can I have a similar know-it-all for my company, for my own data? And it turns out that the core assets and the core platform from both Coda and Snowflake have been aimed at this problem. So I won't say exactly how it's going to work, but uh, I'm, it's pretty exciting. I'm really, I, I've been playing a bunch with it and I'm very excited about where it will land, but that's the core idea. You're just going to leave together. us hanging? You're going to leave it hanging there. Yeah. Okay, so, so given that you're not going to say more about that, yeah. Um, what about the, the pack? I, is it available now? Do I have to wait? Is it in a preview? Only a few people can use it. How can I get started? You can get started right away. So now, the, now. You can like today. Is, go today. Code.io slash Snowflake has uh, all the instructions you need, including some use cases and how to get started with the pack. Um, it's very easy to set up. You just drag it into your document and get access to, to your Snowflake data in your collaborative surface. So. And uh, soon we'll come back and tell everybody a little bit more about what's coming next. You need to finish that teaser that you we're le gonna left finish out the there. Teaser. But in the meantime, I'm very, very happy, very excited about what we're doing together. And I think the opportunity to get value on marrying data with uh, documents and color experience today is very exciting. Yes. Th so thank you very much for the partnership, for your personal support in doing this. I'm very excited to get to work together again, like you said, uh, third time. And anybody who wants to get started today, code.io slash snowflake, and you can get started. Okay. Very excited.